Glossary of Names for the British, Wikipedia Article Audio Alternative names for people from the United Kingdom include nicknames and terms, including affectionate ones, neutral ones, and derogatory ones to describe British people, and more specifically English, Welsh, Scottish and Northern Irish people. Brit is a commonly used term in the United States and elsewhere, simply as a shortened form of Britain. Terms for the British in English Brit An archaic form of Britain, similar to Brit, always much more used in North America than Britain itself, but even there, it is outdated. An equivalent of the word Englander, which is the German noun for Englishman. The term was also used extensively in the British Raj and is still used extensively in the Indian subcontinent. The term is thought to have originated in the 1850s as lime juicer, and was later shortened to limey. It was originally used as a derogatory word for sailors in the Royal Navy, because of the Royal Navy's practice since the beginning of the 19th century of adding lemon juice or lime juice to the sailors' daily ration of watered-down rum, in order to prevent scurvy. Eventually the term lost its naval connection and was used about British people in general. In the 1880s, it was used to refer to British immigrants in Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Although the term may have been used earlier in the U.S. Navy as a slang word for a British sailor or a British warship, such usage is not documented until 1918. By 1925, its usage in American English had been extended to mean any Briton, and the expression was so commonly known that it was used in American newspaper headlines. The terms POMI Palmy and palm, in Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand usually denotes an English person. The Oxford Dictionary defines their use as often derogatory but after complaints to the Australian Advertising Standards Board regarding five advertisements poking fun at palms, the board ruled in 2006 that these words are inoffensive in part because they are largely used in playful or affectionate terms. The New Zealand Broadcasting Standards Authority made a similar ruling in 2010. Indeed, the BBC itself has used the phrase upon occasion. There are several folk etymologies for pomi or palm. The best documented of these is that pomi originated as a contraction of palm granite. According to this explanation, pomegranate was Australian rhyming slang for immigrant. Usage of pomegranate for English people may have been strengthened by a belief in Australia that sunburn occurred more frequently among English immigrants, turning those with fair skin the color of pomegranates. Another explanation a euro now generally considered to be a false etymology a euro was that POM or POMI were derived from an acronym such as POM, POM, or POMS. However, there is no evidence that such terms, or their acronyms, were used in Australia when POM and POMI entered use there. Britisher A slur used colloquially in Ireland referring to the black and tan forces supplied by David Lloyd George to Ireland during the Irish War of Independence in order to assist the Royal Irish Constabulary in dealing with the Irish Republican Army. The force was composed mainly of World War I British Army veterans, who wore cocky British Army uniforms with dark rick overcoats and were remembered for their excessive force and violence. Thus. The term's use is intended to bring about feelings of resentment and instill Republican sentiments. By extension, Great Britain is sometimes referred to as Tanland. The name Tommy for any soldier in the British Army is particularly associated with World War I. The German, the French, and the British Commonwealth armies used the name Tommy for British soldiers. 
Tommy is derived from the name Tommy Atkins which had been used as a generic name for a soldier for many years. The precise origin is the subject of some debate, but it is known to have been used as early as 1743. Rudyard Kipling published the poem Tommy in 1892 and in 1893 the music hall song Private Tommy Atkins was published with words by Henry Hamilton and music by S. Potter. In 1898 William McGonagall wrote lines in praise of Tommy Atkins. The term is still used today in the British Army in the abridged version Tom especially in the infantry regiments, to specifically refer to a junior enlisted soldier. Limey In Polish a common formal term to describe an Englishman is Anglik, derived from the Polish word for England, Anglia, with the word brytyjczyk meaning Britain, from the Polish name for Great Britain, Wieka Britannia. Derogatory terms coined in recent years are Engal and Britpal respectively, however, due to negative connotations they are not used in formal writing or by the media. In the Czech Republic the term Angla N is often used, which has the same roots as the Polish Anglik A Euro the Czechs call England Angli. This word is neither positive nor negative. However, Unlike the formal Anglia, an, it is not used by the press because of its informality. In Hungary the English people are called Angol or in plural Angolok. England is called Anglia. British people in general are called Brit or in plural Britek but the term is less widespread. Great Britain is called Nagi Britannia but the United Kingdom is called e.g. Sa 1 4th LT Kira Lisa G. Pomi or Palm Insuluf, is a pejorative German term allegedly dating back to Darwin and Wallace's publications on evolution. 10. The original explanation of the French term Respif is that it referred to the English tradition of cooking roast beef and especially to the song The Roast Beef of Old England. Tommy In Portugal, the term bife is used as a slang term to refer to the English. There is a feminine form, bifa, mainly used to refer to English female tourists. Les Goddams is an obsolete ethnic slur historically used by the French to refer to the English based on their frequent expletives. The name originated during the Hundred Years' War between England and France, when English soldiers were notorious among the French for their frequent use of profanity and in particular the interjection God damn. In languages other than English In one of the Vindolanda tablets from Hadrian's Wall the pejorative Latin word Britunculi is used a euro presumably by a Roman official a euro in a commentary on the natives' military tactics. Afrikaans speakers may use the term Ruinek in reference to the British, or to white South Africans of British descent. During the Second Boer War, the British became known as Kakis in reference to the color of their uniforms a euro which, by then, was no longer the red coats as those were unsuitable for the South African climate. Another common term used by Afrikaners to describe the British in South Africa is sutai or sau peel, meaning salty or salty penis respectively. The meaning behind this is that they have one foot in Britain and one foot in South Africa leaving their penis to hang in the salty sea water. In the East African Bantu languages Mzungu has come to mean any white European but more often than not especially the British or English, due to their colonial past in the region. During the British Mandate in Palestine, British troops were often referred to as times times OE times times trademark times times or coloniate being Hebrew for anemones, reflecting the troops' red berets. Europe 
Arab people refer to mostly people from the Western world or predominantly white countries as Khawaja. This name is referred but not limited to white people only, although if a person belongs to such a country and speaks the tongue he is also classified as one. Insulaf slash Insulaf In Hindi, Hindustani and Urdu the term Angres is used to refer to the British. This word has its origin in Portuguese Inglês, meaning Englishman. An interesting derivative is Angresan or Angresni, meaning an English woman. Among the Europeans, the Portuguese were the first to arrive in India. The influx of the Portuguese led to language contact between their tongue and the local languages. As a consequence of this, a Portuguese pigeon developed that served as the lingua franca. Chinese, Yungwa Superscript 3, Japanese, Akoku, Korean, Yungguk, Vietnamese, Anquasi. The term Farangi has been used in Persian language since the 13th century to refer to Europeans, especially Western Europeans. Hindustani slash Hindi has adopted this word from Persian and it is used to refer to the Europeans in general. The adjective Gora is also commonly used amongst Britons with subcontinental roots to refer to white Britons, although the term literally translates to fair-skinned one, and thus could and is applied to individuals of any ethnicity with a fair complexion, including British Asians themselves. The adjective has also been used as a noun to describe white people a euro hence its potential as a racial slur. Brummie a euro Birmingham, Chisset a euro Leicester, Cockney a euro East London, Dumpling, Norfolk, Geordie a euro Newcastle upon Tyne and Gateshead, Janner a euro Plymouth, Mackham a euro Sunderland, Man a euro Manchester, Monkey Hanger, Hartlepool, Pie Eater a Euro Wigan, Scouser a Euro Liverpool, Smoggy a Euro Teesside, Tyke a Euro Yorkshire, Wiggy a Euro Glasgow, Wurzel a Euro South West England, Yam Yam a Euro Black Country, Yellowbelly a Euro Lincolnshire, Yorkie a Euro Yorkshire. In Nepal, the British are often referred to as Kurs slash Cares which means people of white or pale color. It is also used in general for any European person with white skin. Respif slash rosh beef slash bife. Lay god dams. Britunculi. Africa. Ingridge is used in Maharashtra and West Bengal in India to refer to British people. Malay Alice of Kerala use the term Sayyip to refer to a male Westerner. The feminine equivalent is Mata Emma. In Assam, the British are called Boga Bangal. Bangal was a derogatory word for foreigners and invaders in Assam under Ayaham rule and it still is used. In Tamil Nadu the Tamil word Valaikaran means white man and usually refers to British rulers during freedom struggles in the 18th to 19th century, when prominent freedom fighters like Kapiladi Ya Tamili and V. O. Chidambaranar, Subramaniya Bharathi, Subramaniya Siva, Kamarajar, and Veerapandi Katabaman existed. It is used in the present day to refer anyone who is white with European origin. Many rural Tamil villagers still believe that all Europeans are English. Velikari means white woman and Velikarigal or Velyargal is the plural form meaning white people. Sudo and Ingrizakareo are Sri Lankan and Sinhalese names for British and other Western white-skinned people. In Malaysia, one common Malay equivalent is Mat Salat. The term may have originated from the general depiction of British colonial sailors who were often drunk, due to the locals' unfamiliarity with English, it became corrupted as Mat Salat. Another possible origin of the phrase is the Mat Salat Rebellion, led by North Borneo chief Mat Salat, 
against the British North Borneo Company during the late 19th century. Another alternative to Metsala is Orang Puti or its shortened rural form, Amputi. In ancient Malaccan times, the term Orang Diringi was also used. Balanda from Hollander is another word from Malay used by Makassaris and in northern Australia. In Thai, the word Angrit is used to describe both the English in particular, and the British in general. In everyday speech the word Farang is usually used to describe British people as well as other light-skinned Europeans. Some foreigners regard this word as racist. In journalism, the expression Pu'udi meaning nobleman is sometimes used to denote English. Middle East Southeast Asian Hokkien and Tio Shu speakers also call the British Ang Mor Lang, which literally means red-haired people. One possible origin of this term is the association of red-haired people with the British Isles. The following terms are used to mean Britain or British and use etymologies mostly unrelated to Britain. These terms are also used to refer to England in unofficial contexts. More formal names also exist, such as the Chinese EAAO ELEA NA copyright WA NGWA superscript 3 and Japanese EURO pound AA 1 half RENGA. A. Koku literally meaning United Kingdom. Separate words exist in all of these languages for each of the constituent parts of the UK, including England, although, as elsewhere, there is little awareness of correct usage. The Chinese de ba superscript 1 liadia n is used for historical purposes to mean Great Britain. The first character means great and the other three have unrelated meanings, having been selected for the sound instead of meaning. In Chinese, yang jala, a transliteration of English, is also used to refer Britain in general. Indian Subcontinent Southeast Asia East Asia The Chinese Yungwa superscript 3, the Japanese Akoku, and the Korean Yungguk are written identically as E plus or minus A one half, where the first character E plus or minus has no meaning in this context, although in Chinese, E plus or minus is phonetically similar to Eng, as in England and the second character a one-half means country, nation, or kingdom. In Japanese, the term ajirisu is used interchangeably with a koku, but is considered slightly more foreign because it comes from the Portuguese word ingla sa euro despite this origin, ajirisu refers to the United Kingdom as a whole, and not specifically to England, which is in Gurindo. As with the Southeast Asian term Farangi and the Northern Australian term Balanda, the Maori term Pakeha and general Polynesian term Palagi have been used generically for Europeans for many years, given that the predominant early European settlers in Australia, New Zealand and many Pacific Islands spoke English, these terms are occasionally used specifically for English or British people. The Maori term for the English language, for instance, is Rio Pakeha. In most cases regional names are associated with those who speak with a specific regional accent, distinct to the area. Oceania Names for the peoples of the British Isles Alternative names for English people Alternative names for Scottish people Alternative names for Welsh people Alternative names for Irish people Regional alternative names